Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on skills unit six, lesson eight. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to blend sounds to say words, say letter sounds and lowercase letter names, read the tricky words, point and read from left to right, and read Kit's mom with purpose and understanding. So we're going to start off today by blending. So get those fingers ready. First word is a three sound word. It's hum. H uh, mm, hum, good. The next word is a four sound word, hump. H uh, mm, p hump, good. The next word is a four sound word, jump. J uh, mm, Jump, good. The next word is a four sound word, lump. O, a, m, lump, good. And the next word is a five sound word, plump. P, o, a, m, p, plump, good. The next word is a three sound word, shirt. Sh, er, t, shirt, good. The next word is a four sound word, skirt. Skirt, skirt, good. The next word is a four sound word, socks. S-a-k-s, socks, good. The next word is a five sound word, pants. P-a-n-t-s, pants, good. The next word is a five sound word, belts. b e o t s belts good so those last words that i said have something in common can you figure it out shirt skirt socks pants belts what are they that's right clothes great job all right now we're going to do letter and sound review Remember we did just the sounds and then we said the letters. Now we're going to say them both together. So watch me and then you can join me. So we're going to start here and it goes like this. M says M. Mm. A says A. Eh. T says T. D says D. O says A. Ah. C says k, G says g, I says i, N says n, H says h, S says s, F says f, V says v. Z says z, P says p, E says e, B says b, L says o, R says er, U says a. Uh. W says w, J says j, Y says y, X says x, K says k. Excellent job with those letters and sounds. Oh, one more. Q says qua. I forgot I added that one. The Q says qua. Great job. All right, now let's review our tricky words. Let's say them together. One, two, three, the, a, blue, yellow, look, I, R. Great job with those tricky words. <gasps> we have a new story, a new Kit story. I'm so excited. Today the story is called Kit's Mom. What do you think this is gonna be about? Hmm. 
I think we're going to learn about Kit's mom. What do you think? Do you agree? Yeah? All right, we'll have to read, out, read it and see. All right, there's that apostrophe S. What does that mean? That's right. Something belongs to Kit. So what belongs to Kit? That's right, her mom. It's Kit's mom. And here's our title page. And this page is the table of contents. So can you go down and find Kit's mom? Where does it say Kit's mom? You're right, there it is. And follow the dots all the way over. What page does Kit's mom start on? You got it, page 43. All right, Kit's mom. So I'm going to read first, and then I want you to read it with me. Kit's mom gets up at 6. She gets up very early in the morning, huh? Kit's mom gets dad up. Kit's mom gets Kit up. Kit's mom gets dad fed. Kit's mom gets Kit fed. Kit's mom gets Kit's pets fed. Such a good story. Kit's mom is so nice. All right, now it's your turn to read with me. So this time you're not going to see any arrows under the word. What I need you to do is take your pointer finger and point under each word that you say, okay? So let's start here and we're going to read together. You ready? Kit's mom gets up at six. Kit's mom gets dad up. Kit's mom gets Kit up. How you doing pointing? Excellent. Kit's mom gets dad fed. Kit's mom gets Kit fed. Kit's mom gets Kit's pets fed. Round of applause. I'm so impressed by your reading. Now it's time to answer some questions about the story. And remember, we have to put them in complete sentences. And remember, if you can't remember what happened, you can always pause video, go back in the story, and read it again. What time does Kit's mom get up? That's right, Kit's mom gets up at six. Who does Kit's mom get up first? Hmm. That's right, Kit's mom gets Kit's dad up first. Who gets Kit's pets fed? Who does that? That's right, Kit's mom gets Kit's pets fed. What does Kit's mom wear on her feet when she gets up? Look at the illustration. What's on mom's feet? That's right, mom wears slippers on her feet. Those are cute slippers, huh? Fuzzy bunnies. What is the setting of the story? Remember, setting is where the story takes place. Let's look at all of the illustrations to figure out what the setting is of the story. That's right. The setting is inside Kit's house. Great job with those questions, everyone. Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 6, Lesson 8, Google Forms, and fill it out. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.